baked tilapia with Ritz cracker crust and it's really simple and it's something that anybody can do and you don't have to have a lot of culinary skills so stay tuned if you're interested okay so basically this is the Ritz cracker tilapia and all you will need for this recipe are just a couple of things well actually a few things um, you will need some cooking spray some Ritz crackers also you will need um, some eggs and the fish so that's pretty much it and I added the little tomatoes for garnishment so that is completely up to you but if you would like to know how to make this then just stay tuned and I will get straight into it so here are the ingredients you will need to make your Ritz cracker tilapia you will need Ritz crackers you will also need some type of butter spray, eggs, and you will also need to make sure you have your oven set to 450. Make sure that your tilapia is clean and that it is dethawed. To make the cracker crust, all you will need is a Ziploc bag and a pack of crackers. Basically all we're going to do is take the pack of crackers, place them into the Ziploc bag, then we're going to take the can and we are going to crush it until it becomes like a crust. So all you have to do at this point is just take that can and roll it across the crackers and because they are Ritz crackers they should break up pretty easily. So once we have done that, we can take our crackers and we can just go ahead and place them in a bowl and we're going to set that aside. So this recipe only calls for egg whites, not egg yolks, and I tried a little bit of a new technique that I came up with off of YouTube searches last night. So you can tell me later what you think about it, um, but I'm just going to show you what I did. So basically all of my eggs are in one bowl at the moment and I'm going to try my new technique. Okay, so I have a Mountain Dew bottle and I bet you're wondering what I'm going to do with it. And some people may know this trick already, but basically I'm trying to suck the yolk out of the entire egg mixture and it's a little hard at first because I'm not sure if I'm using the right bottle, um, but basically it's supposed to take all the yolk out and as you can tell, it kind of did. So yes, I know there are extra pieces in the egg mixture, but that's okay because this is my first time trying this technique and we are still going to be able to use the egg whites because I'm going to get all of the egg yolk out and uh, we're going to use it for our fish. So as you can tell, some of the egg yolks are not completely taken out of the egg white mixture, but that's okay because it'll still work for what we're doing. So now we are going to just butter our pan and we're going to get ready to fix up this fish. Now for this all we will need to do is take the fish and dip it within the egg white mixture and then after that we will take it and put it into the crumb mixture and kind of coat both sides. Once we are done breading all of our fish, we can take the rest of the crumble mixture and we can just top it on the rest of the tilapia. We can now pop that tilapia into the oven and we're going to put it in the oven for approximately 8 to 12 minutes. Our tilapia is now done and you see that it has like a golden crust on the top and it's a little bit deeper brown on the outside but that's perfectly fine and we are just looking for this fish to flake and if it does then it is done. 
as you can tell, the fish is flanking when I take the fork against it, and so that pretty much means it's done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like the video, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. and basically all you will need is Ritz crackers, um, some eggs, and uh, some... <sighs>